Hey, this is Saturday's summarization of Algebra 1 through infinity in x minutes. Note x, the minutes in this video do not equal pre-algebra because pre-algebra is kind of like the language of math and you need that to understand it. The questions in this video include, what is x? Why are people not seeing these trends? And isn't this math that we're talking about? Honestly! Definition of algebra, the branch of mathematics that deals with the general statements of relation utilizing letters and symbols to represent specific sets of numbers, values, vectors, etc. in the description of such relations. So, let's start talking about statements utilizing numbers and letters. The thing about these letters is we don't actually know what they mean, so they could mean anything. If x, for example, equals 3, and equals is the same thing as the same, then 3 equals x, therefore 3 equals 3, and it's the same thing. Therefore, we can find out what x is through these relations. That's basically algebra, finding out what x is. And the relation between 3 and x is that x equals 3. Bam, if you can understand that, then you can basically get through algebra. There's just one more thing, though. Solving algebraically. Or how to find x when it's complicated. Okay, so we'll start out with an example of 3 plus x equals 4. Now, we can't just do the, hmm, x equals 4, because it doesn't really, because there's a 3 there. There are two ways we're doing this. One way, hmm. 3 plus what equals 4? Well, that's easy. It's 1. So, 1 plus 3 equals 4. The other way is kind of more complicated for the complicated problems. It's basically like a scale. You want to get x alone on one side so that you can just look at the other side and say, oh, what have I got there? And that's what x is because it equals the same thing. So to get x alone, we have to subtract 3. But we can't really subtract the 3 because then the equation's not equal. So, we need to take 3 from both sides. You've probably done this a million times by now. I feel your pain. And this is where I drew a scale and kind of explained it to you, but I kind of explained it to you already up there, so let's just turn the page right now. Okay, so we minus the 3, minus 3, and then minus the 3 on the other side, and we get 1, and 4 equals 4, and bam, we're done. Now take everything I just told you and do it over and over and over and over and over again in just different levels of complicatedness. I don't know if that's a word. Algebra 1 has 1 inch long problems or equations or relations, whatever you want to say. Algebra 2 has 2 inch long equations. And Algebra 3, repeating pattern, yes, has 3 inch long equations. Or 3 and a bit centimeters. Basically, algebra equals repeating patterns and boring work that just takes time and is really the same thing anyway. So that's basically algebra. You may not believe me now, but when you look back after finishing algebra 1 and 2, you'll be like, wow, you're right. I was just doing the same thing over and over again. I think I'm gonna go knit something. Bye.